What was that? It's probably nothing. That was a whole man. What do you mean that's nothing? Dylan, you're blind as What are you talking about right now? Jessica and welcome back to the quarry in the last episode we lost two camp counselors which was Laura and Max Max I'm assuming is dead Laura we don't know where the hell she went but it seems like there is a supernatural type of monster that is hanging around here I don't know what it is but it's obviously staying within the camp and now we met the other camp counselors and they just seem to not know what's going on so Jacob has decided to break down the car so that everybody can stay one more night to just hang out and he wants to get with his ex-girlfriend, of course. But I have a feeling this is the episode where everything's gonna start to kick off, so I'm a little bit worried about this. Okay, we're playing as Dylan. Which one is Dylan Don't again? Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got oh, a this full kid. tank of gas. So. The funny guy. Oh, f*** me. <laughs> Oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <laughs> Their dialogue is so stupid. I love it. Oh, here are the girls. I think my favorite so far is Abby. Hey, her? I think I like hey, her. Oh, guys? that's Nick, Australian I mean, man. No. He's cute. Ignore her, please. I also like Emma too, actually. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um. Oh my God. I can. I f I kind of feel bad for him because you can tell he's you. trying sure? so hard. I mean, it's really not that big. She of can a deal. take care of her own bag. Thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Very awkward. Cool. I want to. I want to know, like, if if there's like any way we can get them back together. Oh, oh. Uh, uh Abby. <laughs> do you mean? Yeah, wingman. Can I? These two like each other. It seems like. Why does she just dump her bag on the ground? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding. Oh, is that the guy in the in the somewhere. room where he was like locking <laughs> himself in there? Oh, what were you doing under there? Oh no, that's Ryan. Having a little knee party. Uh, I was listening to a podcast actually. Cool. Oh. Podcast, nice. That's cool. What's it about? Mind your business? Is it about me? Let me be friendly. Why are we being mean to each other? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a... It's a... There you go. Normal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, really enough. <gasps> the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the. Hag Is that of lady quarry. looking for uh, Silas? Should I be asking, dumbass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids it's um there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back we found that she article looking for a lost baby boy oh shoot so silas must be her like kid reports of whispers or whatever and then this figure that floats around you know textbook ghost stuff some people say that if she catches you alone she'll try to turn you into her son Oh my god, that sounds like... Or something. I don't know. It's that sounds really like good. that one Anyways, show that I watched. Hacker, hacker, uh, the cool. Terror, season two, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. That was a really good season. I loved it. Man. Cool story, bro. Uh, defensive better than yours. Supportive. You should have seen the kids. No, let's be supportive. I want everybody to be friends. because, so Like I said, when things get bad, who are we going to lean on? They're scarred for life. I mean, not for life 
You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, <gasps> I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. David Arquette! <laughs> Get those butts in gear. He was my favorite in Scream, by the way. He played Dewey. Liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies ball as ghost stories. You asked. <laughs> right. Ghost stories. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh. <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Okay. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get <laughs> a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Why? Can I, can I press a little bit? Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey dude, I'm like the chillest flippin' bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the Why ride. won't he let us charge our phones? That's kind of right, odd. That's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. He said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just- Oh, Ryan, I'm sorry, it's just more Let me like- the van, okay? It's more like I'm I'm wondering why he doesn't want our phones charged because they even said what was it Jacob said at the beginning like oh it seems like our phones are almost dead and so, um, uh, Chris I, I'm Nick said you only use your phone for emergencies uh, uh oh I'm not fired am I <laughs> no no it's um it's just you know about the whole thing with, with the hold that thought partner I'm gonna have to take this oh yeah okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Yeah. Can I snoop? Because <laughs> kids are kids. You don't need to be so much with them. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Is that the cop? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby. This is a waste of time. You know what? We'll happens. get him. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Yo, move back, Ryan! Sorry, I, I wasn't. Oh, I wasn't listening. Just I pretend was, you were like, thinking about your I mean, phone! I I'm sorry, I don't I like eavesdropping either, but there's something weird cool, happening yeah, here. Just, come on in, sorry I pushed you out like that. Yeah, no, it's, it's okay. I don't think Hackett's a bad guy, but he does know something is like happening. I, I do strongly believe you, uh, that. You need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. <gasps> right. He's an animator! A, uh, I used to be one! I went to school for animation, too. My grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. So you're saying he should stay? Dang it. Concern, is everything okay? This is a you know what? Let me ask, let me pry. Is everything okay? Cause he you seems so frazzled. Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> okay. So uh what what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter. Because he's telling ghost stories? That they send home. Unless that's a lie that he doesn't want people spreading yeah, around the that. stories. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just 
ease up on the ghost stories? I didn't realize. It was just a little fun. I'll, I'll say I'm sorry. Sorry. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. You've got to understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? <laughs> Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Again, always before the sun goes down. Why? <laughs> Gotta keep asking. It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Yeah, take a minute, but dude. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. Is that like his kids? They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. Short staff, that's Laura and Max. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. All right. Did you really just let the door shut on me? <laughs> Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Uh-oh. Ugh, oh, dude, I don't this know. This is such I a dumb, like, why did he do this? Good. This is yeah. his fault. Yeah, dude, it's just like, kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm gonna... He's getting nervous. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay, everybody's starting to lose it! Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Wait, so then. What? Yeah, you're right. Hang on. I have a question. Wait. Oh, shit. What? Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. What happens during the summer camp? Like, the, the summer months? Like, does this monster hang out here? Because, like. He wants him to get the hell out of here before night. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. 
I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? I don't know, especially with everybody. Wait, I'm gonna question it. Wait, we have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Let's I feel like I can trust him. It's just that- say, Keep the noise down! It's just that he's so unhinged because like obviously he's scared of something. Damn it, Jacob, this so, is your stupid idea. What was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. What? No, I kind of no. We gotta stay no, in. No, 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 no. no. This one, I'm gonna have to say to what no. Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right. It seems like the stars have aligned for us. No. Okay, okay, okay. One last Wait, was he trying to fire blow out. Was he point. trying to spell party? <laughs> he forgot a Y. <laughs> oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M. What do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? She's gonna feel peer pressure. He just seemed concerned. I'm gonna say he seemed freak out. I don't like, think freaked he was out trying a little to freak bit. us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I... No, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, I'm getting you, bored uh, of Ryan. You don't want to disappoint Daddy. What? No, it's not about that. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told Boo! me to do. Oh. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. You know Happy what? I hope here. Ryan lives. He's the only um, smart okay. one. First things first. Nick and Abby, you will get to This fire. guy's an idiot. Uh, you know, I was starting to I like him, but he's a dumbass. Now I think that Emma should not go with him. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Oh my god. I don't know if it was a mistake separating them, because usually you don't want to separate people in horror situations, but at least someone will be in the cabin, and I feel like Ryan is probably the smartest one to be in there, because at least he's not an idiot, and he knows about the ghosts and stuff like that. So who the hell is watching them through here? Oh. What the hell? What is happening? Who are these people? Hunting? Hunting season. What? I don't 
don't think they're just hunting like deer out here. What's going on? Oh no, I don't like this. Oh, it's the old lady, I was the oracle. Hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Temperance. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. Show me. Screw it. I was hoping you'd say that. Look, she's supposed to help me, right? <laughs> Shells? You'd better be going. I have to look it's for that. We might need it. And the moon is I bright, think those are shotgun shells. I won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Yes, ma'am. I'll try my best. All right. Now we're on chapter two. And it is called Truth or Dare. Things are about to get... I feel like things are going to get horny now. <laughs> Just because of the title of this chapter. So here we are, stranded. She a vlogger? In the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course. Play Wait, girl, why are you filming when your phone is almost rich dead? And full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Whoa. And scene. I don't know if that was a mistake, but in case we do need to get in here later. Okay, so, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Fridge? Somewhere cool? Beep, 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 What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? Emma, I'm gonna say this right now, you can do better. <laughs> Dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. That's probably what I saw in the vision, right? Hmm. Think it's locked. We need a code. 1953, right? Is the the year of the camp? I, what I was expecting. <laughs> See if that will work, or maybe we can find some clue in here. Oh, oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh, jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melon. Oh my god! See, you just cut a hole in it. Mhm. Mm you pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Sir, don't complete that I sentence! I <laughs> too alone and go look for some more party supply. Oh my god. 
Okay, let's see what we can... This place is a little bit weird. Not gonna lie, a little bit weird. What's with the cages? Do I even want to ask? Harem Scarum? These flyers are promoting a traveling show called Harem Scarum. The date listed indicates that it took place over 60 years ago. Is that the lady I've been talking to with the carrot cards? I feel like that is. That's locked. What's with it though? Like, why is this here? Is this supposed to store something? Ew. Why is it like so dark in here? I don't like this. And the creepy ass music is not helping. Buys this crap. Hackett's cap. So, like, remember, be able to see. Why are they out there? Like, are they hunting us humans? Is there, like, a deal with these people? You know what I mean? Like, does Hackett have, like, a deal with them? Like, you can hunt on the grounds or something like that? Like, I don't know what's going on. This is open. Okay. Should I be concerned? Probably. Let's unlock that. Probably the safest bet to unlock it. You know what I mean? Like I'm saying, I'm leaving options open for my characters because you never know we might need it. There's anything over there that I can look at. A mask. Hmm. Hello, old friends. Oh yeah. Ooh. No, I'ma leave it. Maybe I have a feeling. Thing. I have a feeling if I scare him with the mask, somebody else is gonna wear a mask and he's gonna think it's like Emma or something like that, and then later it turns out it's not Emma. You know what I mean? Like it's trying to trick- I don't know, I, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I don't know, I don't know. I just feel like maybe that was not the time because I'm kind of getting concerned about it. Like who we can and can't trust in here. I wonder where this goes. Call Jacob. Jacob! Don't Go do it by yourself. I know she's superwoman and can kick a door down, but don't do it. Oh, uh, alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Dude, you're not Jim Carrey, just open the door. <laughs> Done. <Nice. Ha. laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. What? Fucking mother love. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. Okay. I'm wondering if this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made his stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Yeah, what were they supposed to do about food and stuff right. if they couldn't go out? Now, let's see what we were working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Thank you. Don't leave me. This place is a little creepy. Just a little bit. I know it's a storeroom, but I don't know. I'm getting weird oh, vibes. Oh, cool. 
What? A gun. What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. Rewind and me the uh, 7739. Oh. I'm going to keep that. Thank you. Emma, don't okay. do that. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, keep the gun. We're going to need it. Thank you for keeping it. Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. You look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Is that blood? Torn hiking bags dashed with flecks of dried blood. Did a bear do this? That's weird. Okay. I guess it wait. Nothing else? Alright, I guess that's it. Let's go. We got the gun. Oh. So you're uh you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah. For bears. Okay. Or uh, some well, like I werewolf thing. I don't know. Or those stuff. two guys outside. <clears throat> Alright. Seven seven three nine. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's what, what we sound like turret. Uh, do some fireworks. Oh, oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. No, Fire. take them. We might need it. Take it, take it, take it. You know, you're right. Not a matter of like celebration, <laughs> maybe like a signal. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Um, oh my god, no, wait. The card I picked was Temperance, which is a balance. And it said if I take more, it might go bad than what I'm supposed to take. And I just took more. Oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I was just thinking, like, you know, like if we get separated, we can have like a signal for each other, like a flare. And might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm glad you're hey, excited. I found these like torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Uh, oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. Great. Were you not listening to the part where I said blood? I'll be affectionate. What are butter pops? <laughs> No. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my God. They're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration date on that? Yeah, how old is this? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Well, wait, you're gonna love them. Ew, how old? Look. Like six months is the max, dude. Oh. Six months past expiry is the max. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um... Like treasure or buds? <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. Wait, she doesn't know what that is? Put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Thanks, I shouldn't have taken the fireworks. Oh my <laughs> god, I think I should have left it. 
I just keep thinking the more, like, resources we have, the better we have a chance of surviving whatever the hell is out there. All right. All right, now I'm Dylan. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Okay. What are you listening to now? Let's uh, be friends. Because I feel like he, he felt sorry that everybody was ganging up on uh, Ryan. Bizarre yet bona fide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um... Yeah, like, the... The weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner fide. Ha! Huh? Get it? Boner. <laughs> <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. <laughs> I kind of like Ryan. He's just deadpan humor yeah. with him. I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I don't we'll either in the sense that we need to know what's happening. Summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway. <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know, he's cool. It's always been cool to me. Okay, let's see what we can find. Need to make sure. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number, I wanna try it out. Why? Make sure it's working! <laughs> uh, so that I can ask you out on a date, duh. Mmm, smooth. I think if I try to set Ryan seems interested. Thing, hey, Ryan, what you is? gay? <laughs> well, what? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird, I thought I heard someone. Huh. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. <laughs> Wait, why was that? Was somebody listening to us? That's kind of scary. I don't like that. Younger looking camp leader, Chris Hackett, with his two kids. Okay, so those were his kids. Okay. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Hmm. I was gonna say, what if, like, that monster thing was one of his kids, but the caller said Ian on it, so I don't think so. <gasps> hello? Well, hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? I don't know if I was done looking though. Wait, wait. Guess it goes to the basement. Yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Uh, okay, or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. No, it climb does. Down. Take a look. Look, you can squeeze Climb it down. down? You opened it, you climb down. I really want to look down there, but at the same time- Fuck! 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 I know we have to look in there! Oh my god, this might be a fucking mistake, dude. I might have just killed Dylan. But I- I'm so curious, I need to know! What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What? 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 It's nothing. Oh. <laughs> I had you go in there for a second. That's the bunker! 
Maybe. That's the bunker. Oh, shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Dylan, get the fuck out of there. Yeah, okay. Ian's okay. down there. <gasps> the ladder's broken! Oh my god, I think I just screwed everybody over this playthrough. I made two Ooh, bad mistakes already. <laughs> you better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, playful. Ring a ding a ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I. You're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> oh god, I'm still thinking about the ladder. What did I do, dude? <sighs> Diary? Oh. Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. List of counselor names, personal details, and their tasks at camp. Two names are crossed out. Laura Kearnley and Ma Max Brindley. Why didn't they show up? Dude, because they're dead? And I don't know where Laura went. She's, like, kidnapped. Oh, thank you for letting me look around still. But I don't know if I should have- I shouldn't have gone down there, dude. That was the bunker. I just thought it was like a different passageway. I should have thought- hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris- Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to- Yeah. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. We're gonna need that gun. Playful, let the bears cross. The oh, playful. Let's be playful with them still. Partying in the woods. Cause I feel like there's a what thing the between them. I don't know. Okay, it's it's like my mom always said. If you want to party, you gotta bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not gonna fuck a bear. <laughs> The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is. To be Maybe. fair, Emma has one gun, but... Call, man. I don't know, I feel like we should have taken this too, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh god, I don't know. Okay, wait a second. Anything else that I need to look at before we go? Can't you, like, speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it. You guys can do it. It's <laughs> it's, we're going to have to wait. I like Dylan, too. He's annoying, but I kind of like him. Yo, my That's guy. Locked. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? Yes. I, I'm sorry. Is that something that only you're allowed to do? Party har har. <laughs> come on. Bro, please, come on. You're not a little bit curious. I'm not going to touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Nothing but that. <laughs> You're using that wrong. Oh. That is true. It's when you... You know. Never mind. <laughs> huh. What? Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow. There's... Yo. What? Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... I agree, we shouldn't. I didn't get look, look, done looking at the other room, uh, so... Brian? 
Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the cam. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just... Security to see what's out there. Cameras. People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like, uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So he's looking for Bigfoot, maybe he listened to that podcast? I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you gonna do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room right. through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by that's still a trap door yeah that's what it's in a closet is, it, it's <laughs> weird it's majorly yeah, weird i don't disagree with you but it, it's it's gotta be something juicy in here dylan okay. it's it's none of our business and if you really want to know you can ask him tomorrow I'm sure that won't be an awkward we make it out tomorrow at all. <laughs> okay yeah maybe i will all right i i'm leaving this secret layer have fun hey you just admitted that it's a secret layer He's got a microphone on there too and everything. Unless he's talking to somebody? What was that? It's probably nothing. That was a whole ass man! What do you mean that's nothing? Dylan, you're blind as fuck. What are you talking about right now? What? Huh. Max Brindley? What? Laura? Wait, why both of- that's kind of weird. Can I not go this way? Okay, I think that's it. This is his bathroom. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Ibuprofen? Yeah, there's nothing fun. What was the other medication? Painkillers? Why does he have so much, like, painkiller medicine? That's weird. Okay. Um... All right. Does he have anything in his side tables? No. Okay. Just checking. I guess that's it then. Shows no, uh, sh what is that? Shares no responsibilities among remaining counselors. So Max was supposed to be activities assistant and Laura was a first aid support and wildlife training. Damn, she would have been able to help us. Rainy day plan. 
Uh, no alternative week art class. Scavenger hunt was crossed out on Thursday. Rainy. Hiking was also crossed out because it was raining. Huh. Maybe Laura is still alive if she's able to, like, get out of there because she has first aid training. Maybe that's why she was also so eager to help whoever was in the forest, remember? Because she, she said maybe somebody's hurt? That's probably why. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss. I feel like we still need the gun, but alright. Gotta double check, because he heard somebody on the phone earlier, so... I think that's it, right? Nice. Full up. I think that's all I can look hey, at, Denzo. anyway. Alright, cool, let's go. Thank you. And you know what we should have done? Left the fireworks and grabbed the shotgun. Now I'm playing as Nick. This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. They can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always okay, here we go. Romance time! <laughs> You've seen my class? Oh? Just walking by. The art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take the good side. You're not sly, dude. <laughs> Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? What's the option? Shady Glade, Rocky Road. Bitch, I ain't going to the Rocky Road. What if we get stuck or something? Shady is dark though let's go to the rocky road i just keep thinking don't be in the dark good choice better six this way better sticks yeah You're like burning or whatever <laughs> think we've got enough Not yet. <laughs> All right, uh, let's look around. This is supposed to be a romantic time because I can hear the music in the back, but feeling something terrible might happen. Just see if I can find any clues. I'm hoping for a terror card more than anything, because um, we do need some help since uh, I just took, I, again, I can't believe I took the fucking fireworks. What's this sign say? Danger, falling rocks, oh shit. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Yeah, I'm dying! Are you? No. Why do I feel like Abby's just lying? Okay, so which way do we go? Let's go this way, I'm sure it's safe. <laughs> Man, this is not good. I know I'm supposed to be collecting sticks. Just keep going. I'm sure it's fine. Yep. Yep, it's fine. The nice music stopped. What happened? It's quiet all of a sudden. Don't like that. Shit. It's all right. Calm down. <laughs> Seriously? Calm down. Abby, if a rock lands on her head, we are dead. But I do have to remember.
remember that. That's actually maybe if we're running or we're escaping, I'm gonna have to remember that too. I don't know. We went to the right of the sign. So you ever think about what's next? Like after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean like the future. He's so tall. Yeah. He's so short. <laughs> All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to like let it happen, you know? What? Like whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. Uh, I wouldn't call that exactly. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Let's say that. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so... convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. I mean, well, it's, it's totally okay if you believe that. <laughs> She's like, I don't mean to offend. No, no totally. Yeah. Yikes. That became kind of awkward because you can totally tell that he does believe in that. Which I I also agree like with um Nick. I believe to a certain extent as well. Oh, I can walk through here? What? I mean, without it being a creepy camp, this place is pretty. Know where we are? Yeah. Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. Did she bring a map? <sighs> this view is just. Wow. <laughs> she gonna start drawing? Nick is over here like, um, I w why are you making me carry the sticks? <laughs> Dude, join her, like, sit next to her instead of standing there awkwardly. You're really good. Do me. Ooh. No, be sincere. They like each other. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah. I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course. I just... Don't know what. They're young. They're like early, early 20s, we'll right? Is that how old they are? Or they're teenagers? I actually don't know. I think they're like in their early 20s, I'm pretty sure. Because Until Dawn was like that too. They're all in university and everything. Did you hear that? Huh? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Is that a pig? <laughs> Wait, what is it doing out here? Oh my god, he's so cute. He tiny! Hold on. Hold on. Save Abby? <laughs> Did I not press it? I thought I pressed save Abby, did You're I not? In danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. Or was I not you supposed need to, stop to move? Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. Okay, yeah, yeah how am I gonna something then which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. 
when the danger is passed, she's probably not gonna well, like that is she i just assume if it's a right. usually if it's like a mother animal they get very protected of their babies right so exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry causing serious consequences oh shit! here we go so i gotta wait for the cue to move again Just mow me to death. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look how she's laughing. Oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> cheerful. Imagine the story. It's actually a boar. No, let's be. Let's be cheerful. Okay, I'm trying to impress the lady. <laughs> pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? I got a pretty good look. Ew. I think she was coming on to me. <laughs> Got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. It, I'm glad it was like all cheerful. Jesus Christ! I wonder what would happen if I just didn't do it properly or didn't save Abby. Would it just maul her? I don't know. Guess we should head back. All right. Now we're playing as Caitlyn. So then we're going to the fire pit. No signal. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Wasn't there a fire coming out of here before? Oh. Wait. I'm scared. I'm supposed to take a picture, right? Take a picture of that. Seems like the light's on in there. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now. Back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. <laughs> what Get the off, fuck? He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Weird light in the treehouse. Nope, I'ma tell everybody! <laughs> I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Here we go. <laughs> Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, Dude, there's no do, signal. But... How are you gonna do that? All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. <laughs> oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. 
The hog of Hackett's quarry? You you both okay? Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was that about? Ryan, thanks for me. Oh, special delivery. Oh my god, they did not whoa, do whoa. that. Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. I should have left uh, the fucking I mean, fireworks. It's, gun, it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine, fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these... Are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. Oh, what, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. No! Save the bullets! No, Save Absolutely. the bullets! Not leaving you with a gun. No! There is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? No, don't, please don't, please don't. Jacob is such an idiot, dude. Fine, you're on. Yeah! Why? Boy. Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. No. Come on. No. No. All right. No! An old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. Oh my god, the worst thing is I we let the, they lit the fireworks. Now they're going to shoot guns and it's going to draw more uh, attention to them and now we're separating from one another. So, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, third class, 3 years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you actually- Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes, got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. She's going off on her own? All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Uh, hopeful. It was okay. I hope she, we made her laugh. It was, it was okay. Yeah. God damn the music. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. They ha Streamer mode is enabled for me at the moment, but since I played this game a little bit early, I they haven't updated it yet. So I think they missed some songs. So again, I apologize if I keep pausing in and out. I'm so sorry. Hey, that a boy. So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 no. Hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. Dude! You just gotta make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please. I think so too, again. honestly. Uh -uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're gonna do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. 
keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. Right. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obs. Okay. What am I shooting? A watermelon? I don't know. Bro, I don't know. All right, Nick. One point. Okay. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Okay, you're good. All right, Nick. This time for real. This is this is a tutorial for when we actually have to start shooting shit. You know what I mean? I know this is what this is. Alright. Nice shot. Okay, okay. Um. Lucky. Do I just shoot the watermelon? Dude, I don't know. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to, uh... Have a she said keep your finger off the trigger, you dumbass! Like, oh my god, Jacob's really pissing me off. Jesus. I thought you were an ultra elite pro, Mark. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, now dude, 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 don't blaster. point it at people! Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey! Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No! I'll be friendly! Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter luck next time? Hey, I'm <laughs> <gonna> <laughs> tell you, both very mean. Blam. You thought this was over? What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Caitlin knows how to shoot. I mean, she was the only one instructing everything, right? So that's good to know. At least we have somebody who knows how to use a gun. So. All right, now I'm playing as Ryan again. extra big here, doesn't it? Like, ominously large. <laughs> okay. New idea. Party game. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but okay. Dylan style. Okay, house rules are Someone asks you truth or dare, then yeah, you we choose, get it, and then you do, and there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So like normal truth or dare. Yes. <laughs> so we can like make people kiss. If they choose dare, yeah, as long as everyone consents. Good, good. Thank you, thank you for saying Thanks. that. Consent I mean, is important. It's your turn, but. Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so. Abigail. Truth or dare? Um. Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. She did. They were gonna make uh, them kiss Have her neck. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, um, I. Uh. Hey. Take it easy, man. That's too far. Yeah, it's a little personal. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna- that's a little bit weird to ask. Cause they're not, like, close friends. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. Alright, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um... Oh, Abby, oh my god, just pick someone. 
<laughs> Caitlin, chill! Okay, okay, um... What is Nick doing? I don't know. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Truth. Truth. I'm an open book. Okay, okay. Let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. What were you doing in his office? Hang of Hackett's Corey, I needed some honest advice. I'm gonna be honest though. Well, I know what you're fishing for, but it's actually super boring. Because I feel like if I keep if pushing the hag know, of Hackett's core, people are going to start mistrusting him. Push. I don't know. Advice, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa. M. Um, okay, I got this. Okay, so uh, if you go to settings, there's an option called incognito mode. Dude, shut up. That, <laughs> no, life advice about school. And, and that's no fair. I've, I've already answered my question. Maybe we can help. Uh, I don't know. You've all got your own shit going on. Besides, I figured just the mention of the word school would cause Jacob to hemorrhage or something. Whoa. Dude, what the hell did I do? Alrighty. Who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Hmm. I'll do Caitlyn. Caitlyn. What do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's Everybody's see. doing truth. Let's see. You ever hook up with Jacob? What did you want to be when you... So, you and Jacob go way back, right? Oh, so they're childhood friends! Oh! Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever... Uh... Get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But... It never went any further because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo. Still love you, bud. <laughs> okay. My turn. What was that? Does that mean he kind of likes Caitlyn? That's why I said in the beginning they kind of had the thing, Emma. but I wasn't sure. There. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob? Or... Nick. Uh, oh no, Abby though. Well then. Um. Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. Yeah, I agree. I don't think that's a good I idea. No, Abby. No. M. This is really? gonna cause so much problems. Not only between Abby and Nick, but Jacob as well. Guys. Guys! Thank you, Nick. Yo, this is some mean girl shit right now. Like, I guess she's trying to make him jealous, but like... You, everybody knows Abby really likes Nick. Like, that's yeah, a thing. Your Dude, you're not dating, though. You can't really say that. Nobody's girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, this is awkward. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? The hell's Parcheesi? What? Also, Caitlin, this is kind of your fault! <laughs> Who are these people? Fuck this. Okay, we're back Welcome with the court, the tarot card lady. As always, delighted that you're here. So then, 
What more has been found? I didn't find anything. You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. Where I do you find the cards at? Am I, I just blind? To me. Please, my friend. I'm trying, ma'am. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried. Oh my god, I feel like darker. I made so many bad choices in this episode. Again. You can count on that. Okay. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. How oh, great. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. That was the end of chapter two. Uh, ended horribly wrong. I don't know why Emma decided to be a mean girl, but I'm guessing she just really wanted to piss off Jacob. But it's it's weird because like she she she's technically friends with Abby. Like they they're they're at least closer to each other than with the other people in the group. So I don't know why she just didn't think to like, hey, maybe I shouldn't do it because everybody knows that Abby and Nick had a thing for each other. They just never did anything about it all summer. So that's a little bit awkward. Jacob's just being an idiot this entire time, but I don't like those two guys that are hanging around. Like, who are they? That one dude said, fuck this. So are they leaving? Are they staying? I don't know. And then at the same time, there's somebody in the little um, lighthouse thing Unless it was those two guys. Then adding on top of that, Hackett has like a secret room, which is this thing, computer. So I wonder what's going on. I've made some really bad choices, I feel like. I overindulged and I should have taken advice of the temperance card, but once again, I overindulged in that. So we'll see how this goes. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of The Quarry, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of The Quarry. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!